Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Talk in English here at PTS and on the radio. My name is Gabe. And my name's Andrea. We're glad you came back to join us. That's right. And we have some cool things to talk about today. First, we want to start with our words. Now, our first key word today is wide. Wide. This street is very wide. Many cars can drive on it. Our next key word is mix. Mix. Susan used her hands to mix everything together. Kid. Kid. Nancy has two kids. One is five years old and the other is three. Cover. Cover. Please cover your mouth when you sneeze. Dry. Dry. Put your clothes outside in the sun. They will dry faster. Well done. Let's say these keywords together again. The first one is wide. Wide. Mix. Mix. Kid. Kid. Cover. Cover. Dry. Dry. Well, I think it's time now for us to go and, uh, well, it's time for us to go to talk to Eddie. Hey, Eddie. One moment. Eddie? I'm in the shower. What? What? Eddie, Eddie. it's your turn. <laughs> you... I'm trying to dry here. Oh, oh my goodness, Eddie. Hey. Do You're you wearing feel... a towel. Yeah. <laughs> That's well, nice. I'm trying to dry off. Do you feel nice and warm now? Not yet. Not yet? No. Mm. Well, maybe after you give us the mission, you can go and continue to dry. Oh. Uh, but can you give us the mission? Yeah, okay. I, uh, what does Betty love? What does Betty love? Well, let's go find the answer to today's mission right now while Eddie continues to dry off. Does everyone have something they can put the paper mache on? I have a balloon. I have a box. My bottle is ready. Good. And the paste is ready. So now we need to tear this newspaper into long strips. How wide should the strips be? About one or two inches. Ben, stop! What? That's my article! Don't tear my article! Oh, sorry. Ha 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 ha, that's funny. Ben was about to tear Sarah's article. <laughs> anyway, back to the important part of the conversation. We see that they have a balloon and a box and a bottle. Now, why would you need these things? Well, you need something to put the paper mache on. They all have something different. Yes, they do, and they're all ready. Betty says, my bottle is ready, and Max says, the paste is ready as well. If something is ready, that means it is prepared for the next step. What are you going to do next? Are you ready for it? Are you ready to learn a key word? Yes, because we have one in this conversation. And the key word uh, is wide. Wide. If you talk about how wide something is, you are talking about how long it is across. So many things are long and they are also wide. So the strips are long, but Betty wants to know how wide they should be, how big they should be across. You know, the other day I was bringing some furniture into my house. First, I had to see how wide my door was and then how wide the furniture was to make sure that it would fit in my house. And the other day I was walking along a path that was not very wide but it was next to a very wide river, and so I could see across to the other side of the wide river. And how wide do the strips need to be? Well, we find out 
About one or two inches. One or two inches. That's right. Now mix the newspaper pieces and the paste together. This is so fun. I love making a mess. Me too. I feel like a kid again. Okay. What's next? Take the wet pieces of paper and put them on your box or your bottle or balloon. Well, this is great. We are learning the different steps of paper mache. And Gabe, what's the first step that Max shares in this conversation? Well, Max says you must mix the newspaper pieces and the paste. Together, so that is the first step here. And that is our first keyword in this conversation. It is mix, mix. Now, when you mix two or more things together, that means you put them together so they become one. Now, if you remember when Max was making this paste, he had to mix flour and water. Hey, I just used that word. He mixed the flour and water to make paste. He put them together. Every day, some people drink coffee and they mix milk and sugar with their coffee. They mix it all together and then drink it. That's right. And when I'm having a salad, I like it when the salad is mixed up with fruits and vegetables, like tomatoes.、Mm, that's wonderful. That sounds good. Our next keyword is kid. Kid. A kid is another word for a child. Sarah says, "I feel like a kid again." She feels like she's a child again as she makes paper mache. You know, I also think of someone who is young and carefree. They don't really worry about too much, and I call those people kids. Of course, usually they are very young, and it's another word for. Children. So someone's children are their kids. We also found the answer to today's mission in this conversation. The question is, what does Betty love? What does Betty love? Betty loves making a mess. Yes, and making paper mache is kind of like making a mess. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun. I'm done. <laughs> no, you're not. You need to cover it with two to four layers. Four layers. Then you let it dry. When it's dry, you cover it again. Again. And again and again if you need to. Then we paint and decorate them, right? Right. We're never going to eat dinner. Don't worry. We'll take a break and eat while these are drying. The pizza should be here soon. So get back to work. So get back to work. They should start working again.、Uh, Gabe,、hmm? are you yawning? Oh, we're on TV. Yes, yes.、Um, it's time to get back to work. Right here we go. <laughs> And、um, you know, when you yawn, you should cover your mouth. You're right. I should use my hand to. Cover my mouth, and、uh, cover is a key word.、Mm. Get back to work. Right. <clears throat> okay. Are you awake, everybody? Because here we go. Here is our key word: cover. Say it again with me.、Mm. Cover. When you cover something, you put something else on top of it. You cover it. When it's cold outside, you should cover your ears with a hat. If you are cooking, you should cover the pot of water so the water boils quickly. And after you finish eating, maybe it's a good idea to cover your food and then put it in the refrigerator. Otherwise, it might dry out. And there is another word I want to talk about: the word dry. Say it with me: dry. When you let something dry. You let it have no water. It gets to a place where it has no water. When it dries, all the water that is in it comes out. Now, what kind of things do we dry? 
Well, in the morning or in the evening after you wash your hair, you might dry your hair so it's not wet anymore. We also dry our clothes after we wash them. And after we wash in the shower, then we like to take a towel and dry off. Movie Minute. Today on Travel Hualien, we're at the Hualien Railway Museum. In 2002, Hualien made this museum one of the historical places in the area. The Hualien Railway is special to Hualien because of its rich history. In 1908, the Japanese started to build the railway. Finally, in 1943, the railway was finished. It went from Hualien to Datong. So, what can you see in the museum? You can see an old railway car. The museum has kept part of an old train. You can also see things people used during the time when they built the railway. What was life like 60 or 70 years ago? You can get an idea by looking at some of the exhibits in the museum. The museum has old police stations and workplaces. You can see some of the things they used to do business back then. The museum also has an old water tower. They used to use this water tower to fill steam trains, and you can also take a look at old train tracks. And there's a lot more to see and do. So if you like trains and history, then plan a trip to the Hualien Railway Museum. You'll have a good time. Conversation replay. Does everyone have something they can put the paper mache on? I have a balloon. I have a box. My bottle is ready. Good, and the paste is ready. So now we need to tear this newspaper into long strips. How wide should the strips be? About one or two inches. <gasps> ben, stop! What? That's my article. Don't tear my article. Oh, sorry. Now mix the newspaper pieces and the paste together. This is so fun. I love making a mess. Me too. I feel like a kid again. Okay. What's next? Take the wet pieces of paper. And put them on your box or your bottle or balloon. I'm done. <laughs> no, you're not. You need to cover it with two to four layers. Four layers. Then you let it dry. When it's dry, you cover it again. Again. And again and again if you need to. Then we paint and decorate them, right? Right. We're never going to eat dinner. Don't worry. We'll take a break and eat while these are drying. The pizza should be here soon. So get back to work. Calendar phrase. Oh, you know, Andrea, I am so happy. Do you know why? Why are you happy, Gabe? I have no more homework. I finished my project. You finished your project, Gabe. That is good news. It is great news. And everybody, we have some more good news. Right now, it's time for our calendar phrase. The phrase is, "I finished my project." I finished my project. So when you are finished doing something, maybe it took you a long time, but you're finished. You can say, "Hey." I finished my project. I finished my project. Well, we we are not finished. No. No. Oh, no. We're no, going to、no. go and look at today's calendar phrase right now. I finished my project. I finished my project. Woohoo! I finished my project. Really? Good for you. Thanks. I'm so excited. I finished my project. Did you finish your project? 
What project? Your project's for English class. It's due tomorrow. Oh no! I forgot. That's okay. I finished my project. I can help you. Thanks, John. I finished my project. I finished my project. Hey, everybody! It's time for the question of the day. Eddie, did you finish drying off? Oh, I I still need to dry my hair. Oh. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah. Well,、uh, before you dry your hair, maybe you can give us the question of the day.、Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Question is: Would you like to try paper mache? Why or why? Why not? Right. Would you like to try paper mache? Why or why not? Yes, I would like to try paper mache. It looks like a lot of fun. And you can make some paper mache gifts to give your friends. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Make something and then give it to your friends. Well, hey everybody, we want to thank you for joining us today, right here on Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. Where drying off can be fun, right, Eddie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ciao, everybody. <laughs> bye, bye.